we are not too far away from the sheet being pulled off the 2019 Ram 1500. Officially, as opposed to the wind doing the job as it did last month. That very incident gave us enough information to create the artist renderings above. Quite obviously the biggest change will be the grill, as it's a near certainty that we will have seen the last of the traditional crosser grill that dates back to the Rams days as a Dodge. The traditional Ram logo has also probably been binned, at least on the exterior, in favor of the broad Ram script currently seen on the Ram Rebel, Laramie Longhorn and Limited trims. Indeed, it seems like a change that the brand has subtly been trying to get its customers ready for, as a quick trip to the company website will show a greater reliance on those trim levels to visually represent each Ram model, including the heavy duty 2500 and 3500. Now, there will likely continue to be multiple grille options available as there is today to at least differentiate luxury and off-road models. We also suspect that there may actually be a crossbar of sorts spanning the middle of the standard grille fitted to the truck's big horn, Laramie look, which would be the chrome heavy mid-grade trims represented above and what was spun on that gusty Michigan day. As for everything else we know about the 2019 Ram 1500, the interior. We got pretty good shots of the new Ram interior a few weeks ago. There will be a vertically oriented touchscreen available, possibly with updated Uconnect interface software, flanked by hard buttons for the climate control system. A volume knob and redundant multi-purpose control knob will remain, as will the rotary transmission selector. New toggle switches below will be dedicated to various vehicle controls, and we would assume would remain in place throughout the trim level range. Smaller touchscreens will almost certainly be found on lower trims with a traditional array of climate controls between them and the toggles. It'll be steel. An intrepid magnet-wielding spy photographer back in August examined the 2019 Ram Test Mule's body panels and discovered the majority of them are steel. The hood and tailgate are aluminum, however. The coil springs are staying put. Spy photos have shown that one of the current Ram's defining characteristics will continue to feature on the new truck. The coil springs currently deliver superior ride comfort, and improve handling and stability, especially while towing. The Mega Cab might be making a comeback. Some spy photos have shown what could be a longer crew cab available on the 2019 Ram 1500. Although the extra long Mega Cab has been available on the 2500 and 3500 heavy duty trucks, the half ton 1500 has been without that option in its current generation. It did, however, debut on the previous generation truck and provided an almost laughable amount of legroom for rear seat occupants. The other possibility is that it was just an optical illusion created by gobs of black vinyl body cladding and the biggest cab style we'll get will still be the crew cab. The 5.7 liter Hemi V8, 3.6 liter V6 and 8 speed automatic return. Will there be an eco diesel? With all the trouble currently swirling around the current engine, we'll just have to wait and see. Will there be a 707 horsepower Hellram? We can only hope. We also ask for credit for that name. Advanced safety tech will be available. Since the current Ram dates back to 2009, it has gone without the sort of advanced safety tech that's become widespread throughout the automotive industry, including in Ram's Ford and General Motors competitors. Spy photos would indicate that it will change for 2019. However, as the new taillights would seem to have the same sort of embedded blind spot and rear cross-traffic detectors as the Ford F-150 has. Look for the 2019 Ram 1500 at the Detroit Auto Show in January. Now, will it be accompanied by a herd of cattle down Jefferson Avenue? You know, like Chrysler totally did back in 08? Yeah, probably not.